This is about the uh, shooting in Long Beach last night. Press conference here on KCAL. I'm the special agent in charge for ICE Homeland Security Investigations here in Los Angeles. As you know, late yesterday afternoon, two HSI agents who work here at the Federal Building behind me uh, were shot inside the office. One of the agents Heck of a workplace dispute a there. Agent suffered multiple gunshot wounds and was rushed to a local hospital. The wounded agent is Deputy Special Agent in Charge Kevin Kozak. Yeah, Mr. sucks to be a supervisor sometimes. Deputies here in Los Angeles and reports directly to me. Mr. Kozak has served as a deputy special agent in charge here since August of 2004. He began his federal law enforcement career with the U.S. Customs Service almost 30 years ago in San Diego, California. Subsequently transferred to the Customs Service Miami office. They covered this for like an hour and a half last night live with a helicopter. To take a position as a supervisory investigator in Los Angeles. Um, Dang, he had a little too much hair gel there. To, uh, be a supervisor investigator in Los Angeles. He remains hospitalized in stable condition. That's probably why he lived, all the freaking hair gel. And friends are with him. He is alert and talking. The deceased agent, the supervisory special agent, Ezekiel Garcia, who was 45 years old and served as a supervisor of the HSI-led Document and Benefit Fraud Task Force. Agent Garcia began his federal law enforcement career in 1988 with the former Immigration and Naturalization Service. Hmm, great. I INS, wonderful. In 2003, with the abolishment of the INS, <laughs> abolishment of the INS, that's a little sad there. US immigration and Customs Enforcement. And in 2004, Special Agent Garcia was promoted to supervisor, and he served in that capacity here in Los Angeles ever since. Agent Kozak is alive today because of the heroic actions of a third eye supervisor. While that agent's quick thinking saved Agent Kozak's life, it also meant one of his colleagues died. We're not currently releasing the third agent's name out of consideration for his privacy in this difficult time. I know many of you have questions about the circumstances surrounding yesterday's shooting. Since the FBI is leading the ongoing investigation, I'm going to defer to the Bureau to discuss those issues. However, I want to emphasize this is the first time anything of this nature has occurred within ICE. And we're doing no, I'm sure it's not the first time, but... ...and to ensure it will not happen again. Like I mental health evaluations, maybe? on his way to Los Angeles. I believe he has arrived. And he will be here to offer his support. Meanwhile, we want to again thank our law enforcement colleagues here and around the country for their assistance. I would also like to express my personal appreciation to all those in the community who have reached out to us to express our condolences. In times like this, those kindnesses are a source of great comfort. As I said last night, HSI agents devote their lives to protecting the public and our communities from harm.